All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Sham, Yahweh Shai, Baha Sham, Rahakurash. Double honor to the apostles, Elders Great Millstone. And salutations, brothers, doing this thing in sincerity, in truth, and with charity. And, um, you know, uh, firstly, Yahweh's name is Heavenly Father. Baha Sham is in the name, Ba'in Hada Sham name. Yahweh Shai is the name of the begotten Son, and Racha Kodash means Holy Spirit. It literally translated Spirit Holy. Racha Spirit. Racha Spirit Kodash Holy. All right? Kodash. Um, yeah, man, I was meditating, just thinking about different things I've seen over the years. And well, there was one particular thing, you know. But then that led to thinking about other things. And this is people that, you know, learn this truth and then don't continue in it, man. I've seen people bug the fuck out, man. Like, I've seen some crazy things, man. Once we in, we got to fight and move with fear to stay in. Doing Like it says in the features, man, doing all the stand, man. We down moments are gonna happen. Weak moments are gonna happen. A just man falls seven times. We gotta pick ourselves and keep fighting. And one thing we cannot do is drop the plow. No matter what, one thing we cannot do is drop the plow, man. Fuck. It's Ephesians six, and I'm just get to the point thirteen. Wherefore well, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. We got to do all to stand. We got to fight, brothers. And you, you sisters that listen, hey, I've seen, uh, uh, hey, I've seen weird shit even with, you know, the female, man. You know, crazy shit, man. You know, seen motherfuckers try to, demon possessions, motherfuckers try to climb. Look, and I, it's witnesses. It's brothers that witnessed it, man. Motherfuckers climbing the wall, ripping the whole window. Whip, r ripping the window out with their hands. A whole thing window. You know? One dude went from believing in, you know, dealing with women, man. One, you know, desiring women to bugged out and following after, you know, prof whoa, man, chasing after a tranny. Left the truth, ended up de dealing with a tranny. Went on social media and, and exposed that he was dealing with a tranny because he professed his love for her. They was having a relation, his, his love for him. Let me make sure I say that right. Having a, a relationship issues or whatever, you know. And it was bugged out. And when Brother says on the comment board, he say, I ain't listening. If Y'all, this, y'all, GMS. And this, he was once. You know, if he listened to the doctrine of GMS, man, you know, he went from that to, nah, I ain't, basically he wasn't listening to, to nothing that was said. He didn't care about what was being said because we GMS. He said if it was coming from, what was the name of that group? Tried and refined, he'll, then he'll listen. It was bugged out, but he was once listening to GMS and following GMS. And he stopped, he stopped following, stopped doing the work. Fell off into that wickedness. And he was so bugged out, he said, he said if it was ITR, he'll listen. No, no, nigga, you just bugged out. We and that's just some of the crazy stuff. Like it's all and it's, it ranges. We've seen it. It ranges, man. It's truly this Hebrews 10 and 31, but I'm gonna end up reading more in this Hebrews 10. This Hebrews 10 and 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. And that's just true, man. That's just true. The Lord is in control of all things, including your thoughts. Some plagues are wild. Once we in, we in. Okay? A ain't no turning back. Once we in, we are in. Fuck that for one. This is our salvation. We need, we need this so we don't get destroyed. <laughs> the Lord don't need us. We need the Lord. So it only makes sense. Like it says, the, the beginning of wisdom is to fear the Lord. It only makes sense to fear the one that controls all things. That's just simple wisdom. 
You know, choose life. Why should you die? But it's Hebrews 10 and uh, 22. Let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promise. So what uh, we have to keep pushing his word. You know, we have to hold fast to the profession. The, the word profession means, you know, to, um, hold on, let me make sure. It means to speak. Profess means to speak. I know that, but I want to get the. There we go. Um, I'll just send it over to this phone. And I just want to pull the browse up. I don't know if I got any uh, info there or anything else. Profess. I'm going to get to the point. Literally, having declared publicly. All right. Declare openly. Testify voluntarily. Acknowledge. Make public statement of. All right. From pro, forth, or forward. Plus, Fatari, acknowledge, confess. All right. So we got to speak these things and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching. So we got to be uh, active in his ministry, man. It says the body edifies itself. For if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. Now, what we're saying is talking about dropping the plow, man. Once you stop confessing and preaching this word, pushing this truth out, you're toast. There's a thing. is There's a sin unto death, and then there's a sin that's not unto death. To hide your uh, uh, talent, death. But a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fire indignation, which shall devour the adversaries. He that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. Of how much sore punishment suppose ye shall he be thought worthy, who have tried it underfoot the Son of the Most High, and have counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified an unholy thing, and have done despite unto the Spirit of grace. So we've been called into this ministry by grace. This ministry is our mercy. This is first, Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians four and one. Therefore, since we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. This ministry is our mercy, man. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. But call to remembrance the former days in which, after you were eliminated, you endured a great fight of afflictions. So we're going to deal with shit, man. Keep that in mind. Ain't no, we, we can't get weak and just, I don't want to deal with, with the scoffers or whatever the case may be, man. We, 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 we are a living sacrifice. Partly whilst you were made a gazing stock, both by reproaches and afflictions. So we're going to go through these things. And partly while you became companions of them that were so used. For you had compassion of me and my bonds. And took joyfully the spoiling of your goods. Knowing in yourself that you have in heaven a better and, and enduring substance. Being brotherly. Yes, it, 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 hey, it's going to be it's times where brothers need help. You know, we're we a unit. You know, we got to remember that's that's part of it. <laughs> Ain't no, I'm tired, man. Just going out here teaching, then got to help and do this. Look, definitely don't want to get that murmuring spirit, man. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which means, you know, with faith, which had great recompense of reward. For you have need of patience that after you have done the will of the Most High, you might receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. 
Look, it's a uh, 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 man, Lord Abba Rathas out, you know, Father willing, you know. We ain't we ain't drawing back, man. Ain't no fucking turning back. What's back there and behind us is just death and torments, mental torments, physical torments, and then on top of that, death by pain, dwelling in torments. Motherfuckers really get bugged out, man. Isaiah 66 and 4. I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear. But did evil before did evil bef but they did evil before my eyes and chose that in which I delighted not. Man, we, we can't be we can't be able to not draw back to perdition. Hell no. The fear of the Lord driveth the way sin. The Lord can plague your ass, man. So through the spirit having this fear, man, this fear keeps us on, on, on the right track, man. Fighting and thriving, man. We may, hey, even if we fall, get back up, you know, fight and thrive, fight and thrive. Because giving up is not a fucking option, man. Only thing for the, the, the ones who give up, man, is being plagued in the fucking mind and the worst type of destruction. Many stripes, as the scriptures say. But we are not of them who draw back into perdition, but of them that, <laughs> I read this so much, <laughs> I never even read the 31st verse, but in my spirit, I did, so I jumped the gun. <laughs> Let me read 38 and 39, I said 31st, I mean 38 and 39, I never read 39. Now the judge shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul have no pleasure in him. To hell with the motherfucker that draw back, man. All right? They're going to get dealt with. This is our mercy. This is what we're here for. This is our purpose, our whole duty, right? But we are not of them who draw back into perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. All right? We're we not of them that draw back, man. We're going to live by our faith, looking forward to the kingdom of heaven. Hope make it not a shame, man. Ain't nothing here, man. We got we got no 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 certain dwelling place here, man. We're pilgrims here. We're looking for a kingdom built by by without man's hands, man. All right, a kingdom established by Yahweh Bashami Yahweh Shai. And that's the kingdom to come. Righteous ordained rulers, man. Running things. That's what we need. Cause this shit is hell and it's just madness. We don't want the bug out treatment. We don't want the death by pain. Hear about knowing the terror of the Lord. You know, I get it. 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. Uh, 9. Wherefore we labor that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. That's why we keep fighting, man. We want to be accepted. We got to fight. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Mashiach. The every, and Mashiach is the Hebrew word for anointed. It's where the word Messiah comes from. The C word is an idol. Okay? That everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. Judgment's coming, so we fighting so we can get good, you know, a, a, a good reward, man. Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord. We persuade men, but we are made manifest to the Most High, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. All right? So we, we understand this terror. That's why we preach this word, man. And hey, we, we teach that fear as well. Because this, this ain't no joke, man. This ain't nothing to play around. When you get in this thing and then play around and you fall out or, or kicked out, you you be worse off. You're worse off than just staying in. I mean, just staying in the world and never dealing with it.
Hebrews 6 and 4. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost, and have tasted the, the good word of Yahweh and the powers of the world to come. So we actually, you know, this faith, this, this spirit that we have, that's, that's power. That's in the book of Micah. This is power. This is the first step to the power that's going to be within the elect that's going to reign on the other side, man. That's the first step of the power of, of the Israelites on the other side, period, man, because we have the laws written in us. The spirit is the down payment of that. The earnest is what it calls it, man, which means down payment. If they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucified to themselves the son of the of the Messiah fresh and put him to an open shame. All right. So we not. So you got to understand how fucking pissed our Lord to be. To at, at, a, at an individual falling, falling away, man. You, uh, you, you say how a shot sacrifice wasn't good enough? He got to do it twice for you? I throw not. Second Peter 2 and 20. Second Peter 2 and 19. While they promised them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption. All right. Be careful of that freedom thing. That was the thing with another fallout. This nigga bugged out. I, I, just all, just all type of bugged out. Oh, uh, they, they free. They, oh, I'm free now. I'm free now. You know, now they thought I could teach. You know, whatever they thought, and then they ain't teaching the, the truth no more, man. They didn't stop talk. They didn't stop. Did they did, did they just say it's only the Old Testament now? Anyway, bugged out, smoking cigars on streams with was African niggas or Muslim niggas talking about basically on some black excellence shit where the Israelites spent to it. Not looking to the hope of Yahweh shot. Not looking to our Lord coming, just mad, getting heavy into the flesh. You know, getting heavy into the flesh, man. That, that liberty thing is the same thing Esau tell you. Liberty, liberty, liberty. Well, what they tell you was you got the liberty to do what you want, which is really you being a servant to your flesh, a servant to sin. While they promised them liberty that they themselves are the servants, while they promised them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption. For of, of whom a man is overcome, of the same as he brought in bondage. So watch that liberty shit, man. You think you're... Uh, you cast the burden of the truth off of your ass. You think you're free to just move around and do what you please? No. Now you're going to become a servant to your flesh. And the flesh can go the, go way left. Read Romans the first chapter, man. Them sodomites that was given over to, to a reprobate mind to do that, which is uh, uh, un, uncomely, man. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. So what you, the, 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 the demons and the plagues you was dealing with before you, you, you got the truth, it's going to be worse off when you fall out. And the judgment that was going to come your way is going to be worse because now you, you, you know better and you're going to have to get many stripes. For it been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness then after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it has happened unto them according to the true proverb. The dog is turned to his own vomit again, and the sow that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. You got clean and went back to your filth. And it's gonna and, and, it, and it's not gonna be doing normal shit, man. You fuck around, start smoking crack and Smoking, hey, you fucking start smoking dicks, man. You start blowing rods. That shit crazy. That's bugged up. That shit has literally happened. 
You went from a completely straight male to now you on some other shit, man. That shit is crazy. The Lord is to be feared. This is Matthew 12. Forty three. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest and findeth none. Then he said, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he has come, he findeth it empty, swept and garnished. Then go up he and take it with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. So the wick, this is what if you get this truth and you fall out, you're part of that wicked generation that uh, had them unclean spirits taken off your ass. Your guard was your guard was taken away. Your head was taken away. So them unclean spirits is able to come back and gain control over you, man. And now you're worse off. Tweaking. Bugged out, man. And I've seen it. You know? I'll share this with you, brothers, and I'm going to wrap up, man. Yeah, Because uh, you know I used to do videos with um, uh, my so-called, you know, the so-called stepsons, one of my last woman's children. You know, they was dealing, you know, the, the boys was dealing everything. So I thought, because if they was really dealing, they'd still be dealing, right? But um, it was a whole thing, you know, we split, whatever. The oldest one was the first one to stop teaching. And he was tweaking while we and her were still together. Uh, he was the first one to stop teaching. And he was bugged out. He got bugged out. OG told me some shit like he was in a hotel room with him, another dude, or training a chick that probably was a trainee. Some weird shit. It's uh, totally different to other other uh, trainee story I was telling you about. He just had demons on him. He'd be back and forth, tweaking, to the point where he tried to break into a liquor store in the middle of the morning, and the police gunned his ass down, man. All right? But he had demons on him. Plagues. I wish I remember the different shit that was going on, but the nigga was just bugged out. The other boys tried to stab him over some yogurt. You went from the truth to trying to kill your brother over some yogurt or some weird shit. Then the other brother tweaking and actually just like became schizo to the point where he ended up getting himself smoked, man. Shit is crazy. The Lord's not to be played with. So with that, all praise is honor and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham HaKodash, double honor to the apostles of the great millstone, and Satish Brothers doing this thing in sincerity and truth and with charity, Shalom, Baba Baal.